And there we are. Looks like we are live. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, we are getting ready to have a great afternoon here. Um, we've got four cards we're going to create today. And I'm really excited about these because we're going to use a Christmas stamp set. But I'm going to show you some ways you're going to be able to create with that Christmas stamp set all year long. I am all about helping you take your crafting dollar and stretching it further. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So with me, um, I've got Brenda Paulson. She is over there on YouTube answering your comments. My daughter, Christina, she is over on Facebook answering your comments. So we're in both places today. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. It is good Are to be here. I am so glad to have like a full. <laughs> oh, no, we're ladies. Sorry. Us ladies, it's us, you know, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you, that's you. <laughs> hey, real quick, if you are watching the replay right now, um, we always like to give everyone a chance to get on live once they've got the notification we're live. So if you want, you are welcome to scroll forward until you see my hands. That means we're going to start working. But we do like to just have that opportunity to give everyone a chance to um, find a place where they can stop and turn on their phone, turn on their iPad, turn on their computer, whatever, and watch us. So anyway, um, yeah, these, these are going to be some amazing cards. I was talking to Christina earlier. She's actually downstairs and Tugger once again <laughs> is in live jail. Yep. Because he tends to be very naughty during live. <laughs> right under uh, my he's desk. He's a puppy. And yeah, it's like he knows we're live and I'm going to throw a ball at mom's feet. That's, that's one of his favorites, throw the ball and then go oof, oof, waiting for me to throw it. Or he's going to fight with Roxy over a toy. There's always something. So anyway, we've got, we've got him in live jail. <laughs> oh, but I have to tell you guys a quick story. So Christine okay. and I went um, to see a show last night and the dogs were home. Rich came home from work. The entire time we were gone, he took a picture of it. The entire time we were gone, the two dogs sat in front of the door, the front door, waiting for us to come home. And Rich is like, um, excuse me, I am home. You could come see me. No. They he said the entire time. And we were gone for what, like three and a half hours? At and, least. Uh, <laughs> You're not the he's not the mama. He's not nope. the mama. It's not always mama. about the mama. All right. Well, ladies, what do you think? Should we get started? We got everybody yes. here? Yes. Looks good? Okay. We are going to go head over to my stamping table. Let me show you the cards that we've got for today. Okay. Love, love, love these. And again, like I said, I'm all about saving you money. I want you to be able to create cards for Christmas and create cards for any time, any season. You're just going to change up the colors. We're going to be using a really fun product today. We are going to use the pearlized enamel effects. Have you guys seen these? I'll show you how to use them. It comes in a three pack in black, white, and red. These are going to be amazing on these cards. Um, all right. So let me, uh, real quick, I do want to let you know, as always, I've got a free download for you. And uh, yeah, in this download, you're going to have all the measurements photos. You can come back here and watch the video again if you just need kind of a refresher on some things that I did. And guys, if you do not have the Magical Meadow Bundle, that's the one I'm using today, I'm telling you, it has got to be on your list before it goes away because it's um, on our uh, in our mini catalog that's only good through January 3rd. Uh, you can click right here to place an order if you're in the United States. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, my friends. All right, that free download, you can find it at simplysimplestamping.com or Brenda and Christina have both shared the link. Uh, but yeah, if you'll just look down in the YouTube description as well, I've got a place where you can find today's post. So Everything you need for today's cards are going to be here. Tell you what, we are going to start with the Christmas cards because I know that's what we're all kind of in that mindset right now. And uh, again, like I said, we're going to make two cards. We are going to be using, where's my stamp set? Oh my gosh, is this really how my day is going to go? I have lost my stamp set. Hold on, guys. Welcome to my life. It has disappeared. Okay. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to find it right in front of my face. This is crazy. Okay, I really have 
laid the stamp set down somewhere. Welcome to live. These are all the things I would chop out if I were filming it, right, guys? Okay, well, this is the die set that goes with uh, the Magical Meadow stamp set that has gone MIA. All right, well, story of my life. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start. How about we start with a simple card? Shall we do that? We're going to start with a simple card. And this card is a flash card. I know how much you guys like that. I have a, a cherry cobbler card base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of mossy meadow, two and three quarters by four and a quarter and a very vanilla two and a half by four. So I love creating with flashcards. If you're not familiar with this, um, if you go to today's post at simplysimplestamping.com, I'm almost positive I put a link to how flashcards work. And basically what we do is we like to just have these pieces made up at all times. And when we need a card in a hurry, I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of videos on what you can do with these pieces and a card base. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to start here with um, our very vanilla. I've got two ink pads today, uh, Mossy Meadow and Cherry Cobbler. Shocker, they match my cardstock. So uh, the one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my Mossy Meadow. And let me bring in the card so you guys can see it as we make it. Um, I better have some grid paper underneath me because this one looks like it might stamp off just a little bit. So we're going to take this image and you see that it's got some little berries on it. So it's a leafy image and berries. I'm actually going to stamp this twice. So I'm going to stamp it here. I'm going to ink it up again. And I'm going to stamp it oops, right there. All right. So you can fill it in as much as you want. No, I don't like it. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> I'm still going to stamp it twice. I just want to spread that out. That's what I love about stamping. Two-sided paper. There, I like that. Okay, so that is my um, my focal image, if you will. Now, I want to share with you right here my sentiment with love and hope. Well, friends, I used a stamp set that was on our online exclusive, and you guys know online exclusives are while supplies last. Wouldn't you know it? It sold out. So uh, that is the stamp set I used on my cards. I used the uh, God's blessing to you on my uh, second card. And then it's with hope and love. But guess what? We are going to come up with something else. And we're going to use um, the uh, stamp from the um, Magical Meadow. And I'm going to stamp that in Cherry Cobbler. And here's the thing, guys. Any sentiment stamp will work. You do you. Okay, I'm going to stamp in Cherry Cobbler, Winter Wishes right there. Now we're going to do like the most quickie card. I'm going to do a little bit of magic here with my Cherry Cobbler card base. And we're going to do that with our Simply Scored board. You can do this, by the way. You can do this with your paper trimmer. But what you have to know is the grooves are not going to be quite as deep. Okay, so we're going to actually use our Simply Scored board to give us some decor. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, you've got two ends to your, um, your scoring tool, and I want to use the thinner one because that's going to give me these deeper grooves. I'm going to start at the one and five eighths. That's just the little line right after um, one and a half. And I want to really score that. Okay. Now I'm just going to do every eighth of an inch. So every eighth of an inch, and I'm going to go all the way to the two and five eighths. You know, let me just go over here to the two and five eighths. There we go. And now I can see how to get these lines. Okay. I hope that you guys can see. Isn't that so fun? Now we get this little texture. We didn't have to do, you know, bring in our machine or do any embossing, although you could do that too with some dry embossing. But I love this little bit of texture. We're going to be using the Simply Scored on all our cards today. So now let's go and create this super quickie card. I am looking for adhesive. 
something's missing today. Oh, no, there it is. It just got caught underneath stuff. Okay. So we are going to add this. Oh, my goodness, my friends. I'm telling you, Thursdays are always interesting. What kind of day will I have? Let's see. All right. We're going to take some stamp and dimensionals. And after I get these on, I'm going to show you the magic that we're going to do on our magical meadow stamp set. And by the way, you notice we're just using the stamp set on this one. I'm not using the bundle yet. So this is a great card if all you want to do is have the stamp set. And I think I saw Judy uh, leave a comment that she has this stamp set and was needing some ideas. So Judy, I hope you are inspired by what you see. All right. There, it's it's just okay, right? It's not great. Now, we are going to bring in the red uh, pearlized enamel dots. Now, you do want to bring in a little piece of scrap here because I want to get it started. There we go. Now, it looks a little pink, and I will tell you it's going to change colors as it darkens. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm just going to take the tip and I'm touching the cardstock, squeeze and lift. And I'm just changing those berries from green to red. But the cool part is not only am I changing them to red, but I'm giving this amazing texture to my card. So you're gonna do this to all of these, okay? Now, this has to dry, okay? So work with me. Let's pretend we have done all of those, okay? I'm gonna set this aside where I know I won't hit it because I know I will. How can I get it far enough away from me? So I'm gonna bring this one in and let me zoom in. So you can see how dark the berries get as they dry. And it really looks amazing with either real red or cherry cobbler. But do you love that we now have texture? For these berries. We've got the texture going here on our card. And of course, you can see uh, I added just a gold bow up here at the top. So I'll show you just real quick how you can do that. I'm going to take, this is the uh, gold trim and it comes in silver and gold in a pack, in a two pack. So um, I thought the gold looked best. I'm going to take a mini glue dot, press that bow right on there. Connie. Yes. How long does it take that stuff to dry? Okay. You know what? And I know when I made the card, I kind of tested it. I would say, first of all, the one thing you have to know is how thick you made it is going to make a difference. Okay. And you can see on this one, I did go kind of thick. I would say give it at least, I'm going to say 15 minutes. So you want to just, you know, if you're making these in bulk, because it is Christmas time, I would just keep laying them out. Just don't let them touch each other. And uh, of course, you know, an hour or two is even better. And you want to know how you can test it? You know how I did this? What I can do is I can come back and test that and see about how long. Because if I mess up this, I don't care. This was just getting my um, pearlized enamel effects started. So that's what I would do is I would save this. And uh, when you figure out, you know, a good time, and I am, I truly apologize because that is an excellent question. I could have sworn I wrote down <laughs> how much time, but I'd say if you give it about 15 minutes and test it, you'll know. Again, humidity is also going to play a part in how long it takes to dry because that's how it goes, right? But can't you see how pretty that's going to be? And can you see how much darker it's going to dry? Yeah, it's fantastic. So don't let that light color fool you. All right, let's move on to card number two. And this one, we're going to use the bundle. So for this one, we're going to be uh, using the die set. A um, little bit different card base on this one. This is Cherry Cobbler four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. We're going to do some fancy scoring on that one. I have two pieces of Mossy Meadow, two, uh, three and three quarters by five. I have two pieces of very vanilla, three and a half by four and three quarters. This piece here is whatever sentiment you want to go with. In your notes, I think I have this one because I did um, God's blessing to you. All right. So I did mine longer. Well, like I said, that one's not available. So I'm changing it up. 
So I'm just going to tell you whatever size sentiment, that's the size that you're going to cut an additional piece of berry vanilla. I love to not only teach you how to use your stamp sets all year long, I also like to teach you um, how to uh, stretch your cardstock. So let me show you what we're going to do with one of our Mossy Meadows. I'm going to bring in the die set and we're going to take this die. This one matches the um, this stamp set. So the real pine and, and berry looking guy. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine because we're going to die cut this twice, but no one will ever see this layer. So this is one of my favorite things to do. All right, I have base plate one, die cutting deck adapter two, and cutting plate three. I'm gonna put this right here, make sure you guys can see. So I've got it just kind of over here on the side. We're gonna be cutting out two of these. So I am gonna lay my top plate on, run that through. Celia says, I love that bundle. I agree, this one has been my all time favorite and snowy mom says amazing that they change colors yeah she's talking about the uh the pearlized effects they do but it's like a lot of things you know they change colors as they dry all right let me see if i can pop that out of there now gonna have to get a take pick tool that's okay we'll just get this popped out now this is kind of a delicate dye guys so be kind of careful when you're pulling it out of your die that we don't tear anything. So, all right, there we go. And Stephanie, Stephanie is also saying she loves this stamp set. I'm so glad it really is a fantastic one. And it wasn't one that just jumped out at me at the very beginning. So, all right, can you see what I'm doing now? I'm just kind of flipping it around so that I can die cut one more. Again, like I said, I love to conserve my cardstock and my crafting supplies. And so I always look at my layers and try to figure out how I can get something from behind that layer before I put it together. All right, let's get that out of my way. And we'll poke one more here. Uh, Melody says the DSP in this suite is beautiful. It is. And I, I love the soft colors. It's got a lot more blues and uh, kind of some purples in it. it. It really is. I agree. I agree. It is a beautiful, beautiful paper. Again, we just love that versatility. By the way, I think that paper is uh, some paper we could use all year long as well. Um, um, definitely maybe even for some sympathy cards, right? Okay, I'm going to take one of my very vanilla pieces of cardstock. And because I'm a messy gluer, I am actually going to um, bring in my silicone mat. Now, where does my glue go? There it is. All right, friends, here we go. My tip for gluing this. First of all, kind of make sure that your glue's flowing and we don't want it to be really thick. And I'm going to dot, okay? And I got to tell you, guess what? I think I might be on the opposite side. <laughs> oh, well, guess what? It all works. So I am just dotting glue on these different parts here of my, my leaf. And since I'm using the opposite side, we're just going to go with it. All right, friends, here we go. I'm going to adhere this onto my card easy we're gonna do that again and since i kind of did it sort of like incorrectly i'm gonna i'm just gonna go with it um you know what it really it actually ended up looking good you guys know what i mean when i say i did it backwards i i flipped my die cut piece the wrong direction but i think with this one it's gonna look good and by the way, on this one as well, because the berries on this die are mossy meadow, not what I want. So let me flip this one around. We're going to add that. We'll just kind of bring it here a little bit at an angle. I'm trying to decide where do I want it. I'm going to be adding a bow. Well, there we go. That's the direction I want to go. I'm going to do that. That's what we'll do. Okay. 
Now I do want to do, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down over my mossy mat. See, no one's going to see that. No one is going to see. All right. All I can find is my glue now because, you know, everything's disappearing. Oh, you guys have heard me say I need a bigger desk because I can't fit four cards on one desk for a live. All right. There we go. I don't know if I'm thrilled with how that turned out, but we're going to go for it. All right, friends, some stamp and dimensionals. So this is a good opportunity for me to say, don't, don't do what I did. Don't put it on there backwards. It didn't come out quite the way I wanted. But you guys know, it's just a creative opportunity. I'm going to, maybe I'll put my bow over there to kind of help balance it out. We'll see. Let's see what happens as I put this together. All right, stamp and dimensionals. Oh, you know what? I got to do my um, scoring here. Oh, you know what I did? All right. See, once again, I'm all over the place. Because, you know, I'm. You know what I'm going to blame it on, Christina, Brenda, the fact that I can't find my stamp. Set. I don't know what happened. All right. Well, I wanted to do some scoring on that, so I'm going to show you what it was because you know, like I said, Connie's all over the place. Uh, let's see, let's bring in some cherry cobbler and we're going to bring another sentiment from the magical meadow. May this season sparkle and bring joy and delight. And you can kind of decide where you want this to go. Um, this is actually going to go with just adhesive. Okay. Cause I've already got dimensionals on there and I wanted mine to kind of hang off the side. So like that. Um, and I did have my little uh, bow here. So I think to balance it out, you know, I think I'm going to put it right there. And what I'm going to do is show you the embossing that I did on the card. And uh, the other thing you got to know is um, I accidentally did this one in basic white. But let me zoom in. Can you see the embossing that I did right here? Don't worry, I'm going to have the opportunity to show you because I'm going to be creating this card again. So I'll show you on my next one, but I just did embossing straight down that very vanilla piece. So I'll tell you what, real quick, um, I'm going to start to add. I won't remember, I always want to start my, my basic effect flowing. There we go. And just like we did before, I'm going to come on these berries and cover them. Again, I'm not going to do it all, but just like our other ones, you're going to want this to dry. So, yeah, you can kind of see how much effect. And boy, this bottle's going to last me forever. So much in here. And it really doesn't take a lot. So, yep, that's what it's going to look like. Let me set that one off to the side. I'll bring this one in. I just stuck my finger in it. So uh, there you go. Um, 23 minutes, not dry. <laughs> well, I didn't start at 23 minutes, did I? All right, but you can see I just added my um, berries to that one. I added my bow here. You're going to get creative. Okay, guys. Woo! Connie, let's get our head in the game. All right, I'm done with the reds. I'm going to go ahead and get my cap on that one. And now, now we're going to take this exact same stamp set and we're going to make some get well soon cards, okay? Let me get these ink pads out of the way because we're going to change up colors. Uh, we are going to go with some Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green and Basic White. So I'll tell you what, for this one, I'm actually going to start with the one that I said I was going to teach you that scoring. So here is what we're going to do. I'm going to take one of these. By the way, all those measurements are exactly the same. And guess what? I forgot to show you what to do with the other piece. Because Connie is all over the place today, that's what you're going to do on the inside. You're going to stamp a sentiment and use an additional layer on the inside. Friends, I'm telling you, I'm going to like need more coffee to do these from now on. I don't know what my problem is today. All right, let's do some scoring here uh, on this basic white. Now, real quick, I need to say one thing about this scoring. 
there is no right or wrong. And in fact, in your download, these measurements, these little scoring measurements, they're not even in there. And the reason why is because I want you to have that creativity. You decide where you want these to go. So um, on this card, okay, so let's say this was the, the um, this one right here. The scoring I did for this one, um, I've got the three and a half inches up there at the top. Again, I'm going to use that thin, um, the ball of my stylus tool. I'm going to start at, oh, I got to look. What am I doing on this one? I am going to start at one and three quarters. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm going to just work my way out. So when I say use your own creativity, you're just going to kind of just decide like how many, how many lines do you want to go? So can you see what I did there? I mean, I and you can use this side or you can use this side either way. So I want you guys to just kind of get creative, but every eighth of an inch is what's going to make that look so pretty. Now for this card that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a little bit different scoring because I wanted you guys to have options. I'm going to start, again, I've got the three and a half up there at the top. I'm going to start at half an inch. All right. So there's half an inch. And I'm going to go over every eighth of an inch. And I want five lines. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. There we go. Again, you pick the side that you want to work with. It doesn't matter. But that's the other way that you can do the scoring. Now, let's bring in. Uh, I'm going to bring in the granny apple green and in advance, I did go ahead and do the die cutting. Okay. But I used a different die. This time I used this one because it's so whimsical. And again, in this granny apple green kind of becomes any time of year, right? So there are those great score lines. Like I said, I love to use my simply scored board for more than just scoring. Uh, on a on a card. I like to be able to use it to add decor. And that's what this card's all about. All right, I did go ahead and add one of these already. But let me show you how you're going to add this one. First, I'm going to make sure I flip it over correctly. And this one is another one. It's just get my glue started. There we go. Um, oh, by the way, do you guys, do you guys use uh, a silicone mat? Stampin' Up! has these most amazing silicone mats. I love this thing especially for things like that. It just allows me to make a mess and it just rubs right off. I don't have to worry about it sticking to this mat. So you can see, I'm just kind of adding some dots there. And you can see that one of those adhered down already. Let's add one more. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, I'm going to do some quick stamping, but I didn't want this to be a Christmas card. So I'm going to bring in the stamp set So Sincere, and I needed to make some Feeling Better Soon cards. I have way too many friends who have the sinus bug that's going around. So we're going to do a Hope You're Feeling Better Soon and two colors of ink today. So I'm going to bring in some Moody Mauve. I love this color. So let's say... Hope you're feeling better soon. By the way, any sentiment set is going to work, guys. You do you. And I will stamp that right there. Let me bring in my Coastal Cabana card base. And um, I'm not going to do any embossing on this actual card. We're just going to add this. I've got Stampin' Dimensionals here on the back. Um, oh, uh, Cecilia says, I don't know how I lived without a silicone mat. I know that thing is amazing. Um, I've got, looks like I've got nine dimensionals on here because it's a bigger mat. But how many of you like to use your layers like this? Like you like to die cut something? Here's the thing. Even if I wasn't using this die set, I'm telling you, I'm cutting something from behind that layer before I make a card. Okay, now for the inside of the card, we are going to add uh, a sentiment 
here on the inside. But before we get too crazy, I want to show you the next color we're going to use. And that is the pearlized white. So I'm going to bring in my little scrappy do here and get it started. This one is so pretty. And here's the thing. It's not Christmassy. It just adds so much to these little dots. And now it's going to have this nice white. If you guys like, if you're like me, you know, you love to use the rhinestones and the pearls. I love bling. But look at how many pieces of bling we have to use on this card. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. So this is a great way to get your bling and have plenty. Because like I said, this little bottle is going to last me a while. All right. Again, I'm not going to do them all. Let me bring in the finished card. Set that one aside to dry. And I'll zoom in here so you can see. There's, there's my little pearls. Oh, and I added some here around the sentiment as well. Isn't that so pretty? There's that embossing that adds so much. And uh, I used a little sweet sorbet ribbon on this one. So a little metallic ribbon. Again, it kind of brought in a brand new color. I love that. Here's the inside of my card. You're in my heart and prayers. I love that. And again, this layer is flat. There's nothing cut from behind this because I'm going to be writing my message here. So I don't, if possible, I never like to die cut from behind this piece. But that is a gorgeous get well better or get well soon card. And this could be sympathy. This could be happy birthday. This could be happy Easter. Just about anything. Okay, let's do one more. And this is a quickie. Uh, let me find my last one and my supplies. This will be our flash card that's going to go super fast. Coastal Cabana, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And those two flash card pieces, Granny Apple Green, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Basic White, two and a half by four. All right, we're going to do some stamping on this one. Oh, real quick, because I don't want to forget, I'm going to show you my... Uh, Simply scored trick on this one. So what I'm going to do on this is put my card base eight and a half up here at the top. I'm going to start scoring this. Whoops, wrong side. At one eighth of an inch. So that's that very first line. And now I'm just going to keep going every eighth of an inch. And do you notice I'm kind of digging the tool down into that groove? I want them to be really nice thick grooves. And you can do as many as you want. I think on my original, I did five, but you know what? You can just, you can go crazy here. Let's get one more. One more. Yeah. Just whatever you want, but see how it just makes that really pretty edge. I love it. All right. Let's do some stamping, my friends. I'm going to get my grid paper here. And I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Green ink pad. And again, this card is a, you know, get well soon. So I'm going to use this little image right here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp kind of up here. And I'm going to stamp one, two. And I'm going to stamp off a little bit to get three. If you want a little bit more and you want it to be a little bit darker and bring in a little bit more, feel free to do that. It's whatever you want. I loved that look and I love how we can get all those different tones um, of color going on there. All right, I'm gonna come back in with, hope you're feeling better soon. Again, you guys can decide what sentiment you want. Um, can I also tell you that this uh, Moody Mob also kind of stamps a little dark because I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you the finished product here. It dries a little bit lighter and guess what? Yep, used those pearlized uh, effects on there and I just kind of tucked them in. Put some there around the sentiment. So easy to do. Oh my gosh, guys, this is just that stamp set that just keeps going and you don't have to put it away at, after the holidays. Fantastic set, highly, highly, highly recommend. All right, um, first thank you for dealing with all of my crazy and my missing stamp set and my scoring mishaps. But 
isn't that how it is in crafting? We just get to go and sometimes things work, but you make you just make it work. That's that's what creativity is all about. We always say there are no mistakes, only creative opportunities, and that is what we did today. So thanks for letting me have some creative opportunities. So you notice I didn't share with you cards for next week. Well, here in the United States, uh, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. I am going to be out of town with my family. We like to rent a cabin and uh, just enjoy um, some nice family time. We're really looking forward to it. So I won't be live next week. I won't have a video next week. In fact, I will be gone all next week. So uh, there won't be any videos, but hey, I'm not gone for good. I'm just gone for a week. So uh, real quick before I leave, thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful and so thankful to all of you guys who tune in. Um, and during this wonderful time of focusing on thanks and how much we love and um, appreciate you. This is just my opportunity to be able to say thank you for being um, a part of this fantastic channel. We have so much fun here. I love being live with you. And even if you're not the United States, I'm still so incredibly grateful um, that you guys come and tune in. I saw that we had somebody from Ireland here. I love it. I just love that people from all over the world, we have this one common bond of stamping. So with that, my friends, I'm going to close. Uh, remember to go get your free download over at simplysimplestamping.com and um, have some fun with your Simply Scored board. And I just want to say one more time, because I don't think I only said it once, but you can do this with the scoring blade on your paper trimmer. You're just going to want to really, really kind of dig that in. You could also take your pick to take your take your pick tool and uh, give it a little bit heavier score too. So have some fun, play with it, see what kind of fun um, embellishments or you know textures you can give your cardstock just using your simply scored board. That's all for me, everybody. I will see you in two weeks. Have a great day. Bye bye.